Well, the U.S. women's rugby team has had an impressive Olympics, to say the least, winning the first ever United States medal in the sport of rugby um, and really caught the nation by attention to the point where they just received a $4 million donation. They are really going to go for it, I think, in L.A. 2028. They may actually end up being the favorites in L.A. 28. Stories out already um, in the news. The $4 million gift, momentous for the sport. Will rugby be the next big thing in women's sports? That's a San Francisco Chronicle. Um, USA Rugby announces transformative gift from my from Michelle Kang. Uh, how U.S. Rugby finished a breakout Olympics. Uh, young young girls, uh, more young girls than ever signing up for rugby. All this, I mean, this is great for the sport. Um, it's obviously great for Team USA. And the one that went the most viral, of course, is Ilona Maher. Uh, she's a TikTok sensation, a star for the rugby team. She's number two. You see her on the screen there. Um, and she's ended up going viral for really good reasons. She's um, going viral as a not only an athlete, but a advocate for body positivity. Good for her. And, and I'll just say this. If you are one of the people who are making fun of her for how she looks or for being, quote unquote, a man, just stop it. Just stop it. It's not. She's a woman, and she is a beautiful woman. She's a strong woman. She's done amazing at these Olympics. So don't. I don't want to hear anything in the comments about that. Um, but yeah, the 27 year old rugby sevens player. By the way, this is rugby sevens, and we've already done a video about rugby sevens. These rugby sevens is kind of the superstar sport of this Olympics. This is like the rookie of the year. If you give, if you had to give a rookie of the year to the Olympics, rugby sevens takes the cake by far. So that's what I'll say about that. Um, Maher, 27-year-old rugby sevens player, helped lead Team USA to score its first ever bronze medal in rugby on Tuesday after defeating Australia 14-12. to Fans of Maher, who has 1.9 million followers, were ecstatic over the athlete's victory. Uh, Maher reached 2 million followers on Instagram. She actually, uh, she's also gone viral on TikTok for her reviews of the cardboard beds um, and also for her... Uh, funny little romance videos about other Olympic athletes. Um, she, so good for her. She's from Burlington, Vermont. Not a state we hear about all that often. She comes from Burlington, Vermont. Uh, began playing rugby at 17. How about that also, by the way? Just a, a lesson to the young guys out there. You're never too young. I, mean, I think a lot of people, a lot of times we think in the Olympics, you have to start really young. You have to start from the age of, like, four at your sport or else you're never going to be good enough. Not, I mean, and to be fair, rugby's not a huge sport, but Maher picked this thing up at 17 and is now an Olympian, a medal-winning Olympian at it. I mean, that's impressive. And, yeah, she has an impressive physique to go along with it. Not everyone is as muscular and as physically, athletically gifted as Ilona Maher, but still. The fact that she picked it up at 17 and is now an Olympian medalist is crazy. Um, she played for Quinnipiac University and is now the center for the U.S. women's rugby team. Her father was also a rugby player at St. Michael's College in Vermont. Um, she's compared the Olympic Village to Love Island as a joke, which I've also compared it to Love Island, by the way. I mean, it, it is kind of interesting the way that you just get a bunch of really attractive young athletes in one place why shouldn't it be like young, like Love Island, right? Why shouldn't it be? But then they give them these cardboard beds and not enough food. And we've talked about that also. So go watch that video. Uh, check that out. Uh, but yeah, she, she, uh, she said she scored multiple athletes' phone numbers. Good for her. Um, and yeah, she's really gotten a lot of celebrity attention. She met Snoop Dogg, Jason Kelsey. Um, and I think this is a really good story because it proves a couple of things. Number one, just be yourself, right? Ilona Maher has embraced herself. She's embraced the body positivity. She's embraced self-love, and she's become a star because of it. She's going to make way more money off of her brand dealerships, brand sponsorships, than she is off of being an Olympic medalist. Again, kind of sad that Olympic medalists don't make that good of money, but that's kind of how it works. Um, and yeah, again, good, good for Ilona Maher. Congratulations on the medal. Congratulations on going viral. I love the story. You deserve it.